Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. However, I think we're gonna switch gears a little bit and pop back into my Devastator playthrough, which is uh, the longest playthrough that I have. It's about 11 or 1200 hours. I've been playing it mostly over the last few years in early access, but we had some crashing problems when 1.0 dropped in September, which is why we started the new Cybertron playthrough that we've been messing around with the last few weeks. But I want to give it a try. I want to see if we can uh, get this going and make some changes and start building out the Devastator save. Because I'm at a point now with Cybertron where I kind of have to do a giant power plant or I have to do a big aluminum production. And neither of those things are really appealing because I've just done them in the Devastator save. Like that's one of the most recent projects that we have was the Megatron power plant. And it's even not done. We have to make some adjustments because of the changes in 1.0. So uh, I think it's gonna be a good time to pop in there and see what's up. Uh, hopefully it will not give us any crashes, knock on wood. Uh, we will see. Uh, welcome in everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I see Blast Jordan, Sweet Sandy kicking around. I know I saw Loki, Loki and Penguin Dude as well. Uh, it's it's Wednesday. I'm running a little late today. I uh, Normally I start streaming right at 1, but it's about 20 after. I had to get a quick lunch in me and just nothing crazy, just adulting stuff like laundry and other things that just I couldn't get done because I live in an apartment building and I had to wait and so everything got delayed. But here we are. So cheers to an afternoon of video games. Boring stuff. I don't mind. I mean, laundry, when you work from home, it's like you put it in and then you just set a timer and you go get it and then you fold. Like, no, I don't have to fold it. I just hang it up to dry in my apartment and that's it. It only takes about, I don't know, 15 minutes of actual work, but it's it's the getting it in there in the, in the machine when you've got to share the machine with other people in the building is, is a pain in the butt. All right, let's load in here. So the Great North is technically the Devastator playthrough. The problem is that uh, this is, I wanted to rename it, but I think if you rename it, it drops your hours and I want to keep the hours. I've also thought about combining the Cybertron playthrough to the Great North, but then that also um, won't, con like it won't, count the 158 hours we have there so I'd have to do some behind the scenes math so does the game tell you overall anywhere like a total does anybody know does the game say like you've spent this much time in the game I guess Steam would tell you but I'm on I'm on Epic all right we'll jump in and for anybody that's new to the channel uh starting here at the top of the stream then you'll get a, a at least a look around at what we're doing We'll have to do math. I don't want to do math, Dan. It's the wrong game for not wanting to do math. Um, I wonder if Epic will tell me. Just let me just check that in the background here while we're waiting for this giant save to load in. Um, the fact that it's taking this long is not a good sign. Um, library. And. Out of curiosity, it probably won't give me any information because the game's currently running. Maybe under my profile? Achievements, coupons, settings, doesn't really say. Maybe under achievements? I've got 28 of 44 achievements, but that's it. It's not saying anything about the hours in game. Anyway, not a big deal. So we left off messing around with this giant um, billboard here. So we were trying to put the chest plate on Devastator. But I think we have to go a lot bigger than that. I was thinking about putting a train station or a train path down the middle here. And I was just kind of messing around with shapes that I really, really don't like. So we'll have to figure that out. What I think is missing from this design really is the details that I've been putting in to um, the Cybertron stuff. This all feels like planning. 
like the first you know hours of a of a build where it's got all the boxes but none of the actual decoration and stuff are are installed i haven't done any of the cool lines and designs and things uh, and i know that one of the first things i want to do is raise the train platform so that's probably what we're going to do how long have you played the game overall? Easy, a gazillion. Wait, checks notes. No, gazillion and one. Yeah, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours. But I think the idea was to raise the platform to here. I have to extend this again, I think. I think this was the this was the intended spot. We'll double check that. That's likely the case. Which is a pain because this thing looks pretty cool. I wish these guys would just mess off. Like, what a pain to have a cool sci-fi build and have this thing walk up your ramp. It's dumb. Does anybody know of a mod that gets rid of those? Because I would go that way. I think I would load up modded just for that. I don't know whether modded would increase my performance or whether it would hamstring it. Um, so yeah. We're going to have to raise the train station, which is fine because the tracks over there are also raised. Uh, and I think that's kind of like the new the new level that I want to be at. We have also designed hover pads, so I don't have to worry about structural stuff in here. I could still do it, but I don't have to, which is nice. So let's double check that this is the right. I don't have any concrete. Right. This is the thing. We've not set up hardly any of the new things in this area. I have dimensional depots. Do I have any Mercer spheres? No. Fix it at mod. Nuke the whales. Is that what it is, Loki? It just gets rid of them? That's awesome. So hypertubes previously were things that were giving us trouble, but that seems to be okay right now. those where are we with our unlocks do I have anything in, de in depots I don't have anything in depots so yeah stack size is what we need to do so I need Mercer spheres Got lots of summer sloop. That's cool, though. Is there... We've already got the power augmenter. I don't think I have that going anywhere. I don't think I need it because of the amount of power that we're currently generating. No, we're fine. It lowers their health, so you have the option to get rid of them. Oh, well, that's good. You can still get rid of them. It just takes a really long time. The fastest way that I know of is to load them with a bunch of explosion, uh, explosives, like noblisks and stuff, and then beat them, blow them up. I feel like some of this stuff we can actually put away. I don't need that.
I was watching I'm Kibitz today and realized just how little you actually use staters for now. I don't think I need supercomputers for anything either. Right, I've got more silica than I know what to do with. enough. Uh, let's go in this one. So I think this is this marker that I left for where I wanted this to be. Yeah. So this is the new level for the train station should be up here. And I think these are all one meters. Yeah. So I guess the first thing to do is going to be to lay down some of these. This is going to make this whole place look like a giant work in progress, but we've got to do it. Uh, I have got blueprints somewhere. Uh, two. That's what I'm looking for. And before I get into this, I kind of wonder whether I should change the color like do I want to make the, the color of this any different we do have all of these things unlocked now my colors in this playthrough need some serious organization I really need to mess with things and unfortunately it's going to change all kinds of stuff but it'll make my life easier in the long run uh, I don't I don't think we need to change it I wouldn't mind making this may be, this is concrete foundation. I do like the shiny. Ooh, that's some weird frame rates. What's going on there? Why are we getting so choppy all of a sudden? That was weird. Too many armor stands. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so that's all the way over to there. I think that would give me enough room to do a lot of other stuff down there too. I thought the blueprints would be a lot faster to, than this, you know? The fact that this is so tricky to actually place is a real pain. Like, why, why is it so hard? It didn't used to be this hard. Uh, 
And the new color isn't sticking. Why are you not? Oh, because it's a blueprint. Well, never mind then. We're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, is there a difference between default build mode and blueprint build mode? Uh, yeah. Um... Like if I grab this, does that make it easier? Oh, maybe that's what it was, Sandy. The problem is that it switches it when you're doing the, um, it su switches it when you're doing the, um, what am I trying to say? The deleting, like switching your delete mode switches your build mode, as far as I can tell. I build this here? Not steady. Where can I... If I can change the color on the blueprint, I will. Probably have to do one at a time here. Once you have built a satisfactory blueprint, interact with the blueprint designer terminal to save it. It will then be available in the blueprints tab of your build menu. Blueprints can always be edited to correct mistakes or optimize. If you find yourself struggling to work within the set size restrictions, remember that this is a you problem and efficiency can always be improved. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, we'll save that. Confirm. Load blueprint, and then we'll just do the other ones as well. I feel like this should also be... That's going to change everything anyway. You know, the train going by, I think, might be the the um, frame rate issue. Yeah, so it's it's your delete and your um, your build mode are linked. So if you're wondering what's going on and you're confused, it's, it's that's usually the case. Trains will be moved temporarily, and then we'll have to figure out what's going to happen after that. So let's go with uh, this. Make sure it works. And 
there's only three there. It's probably easiest just to do this once and then delete the other end pieces. Here we can probably line it up properly. And we are going to run out of concrete almost immediately. Do I have concrete down here? I might. would be concrete colored, I can tell you that. I really like the look of this. It's going to be a real pain to, to bring it up, but we also have the issue where I think, I don't know if it happens on this one because we don't have the, the tracks are like kind of embedded, and I think with the new way that they handle you getting out of trains, I think we get stuck. So like if I get out of here, yeah, I can't I can't jump up in that space. I have to walk out the end. So the new design, we're gonna have to accommodate for that, which is too bad. One thing about this game that I do find a little hard is when you realize that you have to make something, like adjust something, and you just you understand just how much work it's going to be. That is one too far. Four? Oh, that was close. Well, that lines up good. Wait. We'll fill in the rest as we need to. We'll have to raise uh, each train one at a time, probably. I think they're all hooked up. At this point, it's probably easier to just get rid of these. Yeah, the trains are definitely giving me some lag. That's for sure. So Mixmaster isn't running, but the first thing I want to do is I want to get this, this going through on a level that makes sense, right? So I want to have this coming through to here so we can accommodate that. And that is going to mean that we have to adjust, I think, the number of layers we can, because I would like this to be a straight shot if we can. I would like that to be a straight shot if we can. So we probably don't need all this space over here. Um, we might need it for 
maybe bypassing the train. You can see how this comes really close to lining up with those temporary tracks. So I think we can make some adjustments here and have um, and have some sort of junction right there. And this will all work out a little bit later. Right now, this is the track that the train was going to go on. And I prefer, I think, to have it up here. We may also be able to do something underneath um, if we have more room. But for now, I think this is the way that I want to go. So mix masters here. And this is all a new oh this is a station pad okay that lines up with the edge or does it no it doesn't why would it do that that would be too easy okay we might have to do some some finagling here we'll do this with this for now on the seam Test it with one that isn't running, just so we don't have to worry about inputs and stuff. We're not running our aluminum right now because I think it was crashing our our game. Too many things moving around. question is why were these so far back they weren't lined up with the edge I guess it's because I wanted to decorate them but it's I've got some nudging oh maybe that's what it was maybe I, I put this together before I was nudging stuff around also I know that this track is very tricky this is a just a little over one two three Probably the minimum distance to get to the middle. Ah, it's not the middle, it's actually just a little bit past. So that's probably why they are set like that. So I should make sure that this line here. I th think I want to keep at least the two blocks of space. That makes sense. will be our line out and I don't know if that's going to connect that main line it might be too close 
we might have to figure that out. So this is one, two, three. Uh, it should. One, two, three. No, that's not enough room. That might be tricky. That might be tricky. And that is not going to be, be able to be placed up there. So I'm going to have to move the train. Uh, do I need another station? I don't, I mean, the plan was to take this vertically if I needed another station. this has another block on it so that it doesn't block the path signals and stuff for people so this needs to be separate here and it's not doing that annoying You're going to stop because none of this makes sense. I put one here, but it's not going to do anything. Dumb. There we go. Alright, so this is Mixmaster at Devastator. Are you full of stuff? You are not. got how many different cars here station one two three four plus a bunch of other tracks and stuff You think you should be able to put them that close on two different paths? Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I think that you should be able to put them wherever they will separate. You know, like, if you put in a new path, it should separate. I don't know why it doesn't create paths at intersections. Like, new paths at intersections should be a thing. Especially when you have a block signal there. That would make the most sense. So, right now, I'm going to leave these guys down there. These are lined up like this. And normally I would line them right up to the edge here, but I have them back by one. So I'm just curious if I put this here, this comes to the uh, midpoint and then I've got one midpoint, two midpoint. That's probably why I have it pushed back is because to get over to here, it probably would not work. So it's one, two and a half, two to here. That does work. And I'd say that's... I wonder if I could do that even tighter. So 
Yes, I can. I should just delete this. So the problem is that I don't think I can get from here to there. Right, like the tightest, we're one, one lane off, I would say, to get from here around to there. So maybe this has got to be moved over a bit. Take the opportunity to really space this out. I think we're going to lose our station, unfortunately, on the end. Because I don't think we have a lot of room down here. So I think by the time we bump everything down, I think that we're going to lose this one. Because this doesn't have... There's a little bit of leeway. Well, not really. So yeah, we might have to just go with one less. I mean, we're only using the five, one, two, three, four, the five of them for the actual factory. I guess the problem is that I've got so much extra space over here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, the, the easy solution would be to have this... Um, change and go over this way but I really want this view of like coming down the train station like going right at Devastator I think that would be a cool cool look when you think about like the Decepticon symbol that's going to be in the background so I really want this to be a straight shot maybe we can have this as like a train yard or something Go over to here. So that's one, two. Oh, it's too short. So that's your diagonal. I think that's the tightest we can make it is one, two, three like that. I think if I move this any closer, it won't work. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. was one meter in. Let's go two. I feel like all the rules that I thought I knew about trains are being broken right now. One, two, three. Right. Okay, so that's where it is. I would say the easiest thing to do for that would be to have that go to here. But that is absolutely not turning around and hooking into that. So we'd have to move this over another bit. Because this is going to need to hook up to this line here. That's a point. I could put the construction station over there where there's room. That's true. That's absolutely true. It would make sense because it'd be closer to the main build, too. That's a good call. I imagine this looks really cool with trains going by with this giant ceiling over them. Probably pretty fun. 
It wouldn't look good riding the train because the camera would be in the way, but it would be cool in other ways. So I need a minimum of one, two, and three. So one, two, and three. So this is where we need to connect to. Get rid of that. So in theory, oh no wait, it's the edge there. So it's this edge that has to be connected, right? Yeah, so, so for people that are wondering, there's your turn pattern. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Uh, I guess this would be better off if it was in the middle. But I think that's the minimum, minimum distance, at least for keeping it simple. We can do tighter. It looks like you can do two meters smaller, but I don't know that that would be worth the headache. What I should do is be using the hover pack. So that means we've got one, two, three, and then this connection here would be one, two, three. So there's your from the middle there. I don't think I could go farther the other direction. No, that doesn't work. So really we have to count from here. Two, three, two, three. So this is the connection here. So there's your connecting line there. There's your connecting line here. This doesn't really... This can exist. It doesn't have to exist. Uh, and then if we were to put our station over here, as Sandy suggested, I guess we would do it in this kind of capacity. And that should be fine too, because then we should be able to connect this. Just have to count two, three back to there. Four more.
This makes this look a little bit strange. So I may not... May not want to do that. And there's not enough room to turn around here. Wouldn't be a bad idea to just have a turnaround there too, rather than another station. Uh, but what that does mean is that this is going to move again to get connected to there. So it's going to be in line with this. I do find the customization tool really handy for stuff like this. Oh, I've got to move this now too. Great. Uh, bone crusher. I wonder if I could just send Bone Crusher away. I guess we have to extend this extra track. Hopefully, Bone Crusher will fit. Think so? Maybe. It's bone crusher full of stuff. Yes. Why is it full of? All right, we've got sulfur and quartz coming in. All oh, right, bone crusher is not currently bringing in anything because we had to delete those plants. I remember that now. This might fit. If not, I'll delete a couple of cars. No, not even close. Not even close. And this is probably going to be a... Yep, can't do it. All right, so we'll delete this. Delete that. That should clear that up. Okay, good. Unfortunately, we're just going to ditch all of this. But that there's probably stuff in the canister below. The load balancer below should have... Or I guess not the load balancer, the buffer. The buffer should have sulfur in it, I would imagine. Bone crusher, sulfur. Yeah, okay, cool. I was just thinking like we need sulfur for anything. It's just nice to not have to go halfway across the map to get it. Bye bye, bone crusher. And we've got little box of shame everywhere. I'm leaving a lot of this intact, obviously, because I want to be able to copy it and move it up here when I need to. So that new station goes here. I was like, why is it building so far forward? But I think I realize now. I also realize that we're building in purple. It's fine. 
this should connect to here. Why? Why are you not? That's the right distance. So now it won't let me do that. Choose another switch. Overlapping object clearance. But there's only two, not three. This I remember from before. Really frustrating. Because they don't tell you, like they don't give you any rules. Overlapping object clearance. Delete the straight one. This one? But then can I add on to the straight one? No. So like, so then I can't get over there. Right? I mean, that's fine. I don't need to get over there. But it's just like, I should be able to. Or I guess that's technically three. That's probably what it is. You're not allowed to have more than three. That's right, that looked dumb anyway. We'll have to have like an offshoot or something. I would more than likely want to have this come in this way anyway. All right, that's a lot of space and I think that's as tight as we can get it. One, two, three. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six tiles to turn around. Um, so we can do the rest of this like that. Um, I don't remember how many stations the other guy had. One, two, three, four. I always run my tracks to the middle of the tile, and I'm thinking maybe you should start running them to the middle. So we also have to have the uh, the way in here. So this is going to be the right-hand drive, and I guess we'll have to line this up somehow. Exiting will have to be here, so there's going to have to be a divergence here. I think the approach I want to be in line so these are right where we need them to be which is good uh, they are not at the right height though watch your head and so now I just have to redo this sort of situation and figure out um, I guess this is all about right, so this is on this level here. That goes down the middle. That's 
I just line that up with the first train station, which we don't need to do. This is going to line up with the throughput. And the turn is going to happen, I guess, once we get onto the platform. So about here. So if this is where the turn is happening, then we just do our, our count, right? Do one, two, three. There's a lot of building and rebuilding with rails. That should allow us to connect. Right? And then here. Uh, this is going to be... How did I do that? It only has to turn in left. It doesn't have to go. It's either straight. Yeah, it either continues straight or it turns. So then this piece... Should go to here. That looks right and organized to me. Uh, and then the back of this, we would space out with platforms, like empty platforms. Hmm, I don't think I need the ones with the canopies on them, but we'll do it just so it's easy to see. I'm going to try this one more time just to make sure that it works. Beautiful. So that's the spacing. And then we have to think about how we're going to do this side. I don't think I had any beefs with how this looked. I feel like this worked out pretty well. Um, the way that this all goes underneath is goes into bins and then we've got lots of room to run the belts so I don't think I need to rethink the spacing between them it looks like there's just a tile look if I come over here and I delete a couple of things like there's the platform so they're not they're not it's not quite one tile but if I want to keep with the way that these things are lined up here, we'll have to um, adjust some spacing. Out of concrete and out of sunlight. That's fine. Now, have I completely messed up? I shouldn't have messed up any train networks. I should still be able to get on a brake train and go. I think. Do I have a brake train kicking around somewhere? Oh my gosh, it's a busy map. There is... No train. That's right. I guess we'll put one down. And I guess I have to do that. Over here? Yeah. The train of the night. Uh, let's edit self-driving. We'll go to... Megatron, I think it's construction two, and Devastator up. Folks, I take a break about once an hour. Uh, you get to ride around and look at the world, so if you've been uh, watching the other playthrough, it's a good chance to take a look and see what I've got built on this Devastator playthrough. Uh, we'll go to the main power plant, we'll go to some construction sites, and uh, then back to the main Devastator hub. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
I'll leave this guy here for the next break. Good stuff. I like the um, chrome metal, or no, carbon steel trains. They look really sick. I'm also going to save the game. Two eighty four. It's crazy. Two hundred eighty four saves. Uh, Devastator train. So hopefully this will make things a little bit easier going forward in terms of bringing supplies up. So what I need to figure out now is the um all oh, right it sends us underneath the ground i was like i thought it was gonna be higher um i need to figure out the spacing because we've got the first one in but then i want these other ones to be evenly spaced between here and the edge and the edge i tended to want like one and a half i'd say even two foundations of decoration space So I think, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, I came all this way and I forgot to get concrete. Do I still have concrete down here? Or is that being used up somewhere? I think that, no, that's being used up somewhere. Crap. All right. Up we go. I forgot about the concrete. Thor of Asgard, hello. How are you? It's been a minute. I was watching Kibitz with his new hypertube um, network, and I was missing the hypertubes here on Devastator. It does make it so much easier to get around. Really realizing how much of this factory is like partially finished. think there's anything in the background that we need to be doing either busy with semester beginnings yes I'd imagine midterm time I don't miss those days at all I enjoyed my time in school but I did not enjoy testing I did not feel it was all that relevant to what I wanted to do So I think we'll have to... Did I move this one? Or is this one still active? Scrapper. Now, Scrapper is still doing its thing. What I should do is, now that the trains aren't here, I should... Maybe move them? Where are you? You are... Scavenger. Scavenger, I'd be okay with just leaving at the other station. gonna cause a bunch of stuff to stop working but that's okay blast Jordan unlurking because you and Microsoft PowerPoint have temporarily become enemies man I'm glad I've never had to use any of those Microsoft softwares I switched to open office years ago just for my own personal accounting and and word processing and stuff
So we're almost at the right station and it should still have. Yeah, okay. So I can turn that back on remotely, I think. Can I build a buggy out of curiosity for fun? Maybe I want to drive back just for kicks. Can. Oh, no gas. I really haven't used this much in the 1.0 playthrough. This all has to get redone too. The trees all grew back again. I've only removed them like four times. Whoa, almost off the road. scavenger out of the way and who's this coming scrapper we'll ride you back up to your other station too just so we know where you are It'll be the last time you need to remove them now? Yeah, that's fair. Well, this might keep us from having a game crash because all of our factories are going to stop running or running really slow because we're removing a lot of these goods that are coming in via train. A weird animation. I've seen some really cool train interchanges and I don't know how much of them are planned and how much of them are just trial and error and necessity of weaving dozens of tracks over top of one another. Sometimes people can come up with some really cool designs for trains in this game. Then there's my haphazard train climbing the cliff. I find too often I um, build something out of necessity and then I never return to it to decorate it. Blueprints help with that for sure. And all this is overgrown again, too. So now here, we can get out no problem. Or we look like we could. Maybe we can't. So what do people think about these uh, compared to the other... Um, the other platforms that I have, the hover platforms. Same idea. It's meant to like kind of levitate the track, but it's it has to have like a foundation. I think I like the other way I did it, being honest. How far are we? We are far. Let's do this. It's a bad day for Mr. Hogg.
That's not where I wanted to go. I have to figure out how to manually get back. which is our it's this one that I wanted there we go I think we're gonna go for hover theme the other way it gives off a vibe a little better yeah I think so too penguin dude I think so too Any other trains moving around? I think that's everybody. We just turned off Scrapper, so we can remove that. Scavenger we put back in the other area. Hook. What was Hook doing? Oh, we've got this green bug thing happening too. Uh, I don't think I have a Hook. I don't think Hook was doing anything. That I recall. Everybody remember Hook. Because it's a cool name for a train station. And a train. And I'll have to back this up or move it around. Mm. That interchange gave you big city freeway interchange PTSD. Yeah, it's not great. I, I wish. I need to do one larger and more central in that area. I feel like I'm playing Train Simulator. Which I've only ever seen. I've never actually played. It was part of Game Pass and I just have never bothered. It just didn't didn't look fun? It pr I'm sure it probably is. Oh, right. I had that silly little idea about how to decorate this stuff, too. Okay, so here's our our lineup. Uh, this takes up five. And so I wanted two at least on the end here for kind of decoration space. What should we do that? Purple? Why not? I think it was like one and a half, but that gives us some wiggle room in there for design and stuff like that. And that lines up with the track is going to be here. And 
And so that's... Twenty six, seven, eight. I could probably only fit four. That's on the middle of a tile, yeah. And that's one and a bit, so that's more in between them than used to be. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, so six, and then let's do green, I guess, or orange. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be quite enough, I don't think. That's gonna be pretty tight. We might be able to do it. Hmm. So here we didn't continue this design, and I think I want to have the ridge here. Um, that's kind of what we had before. It's only one and a half until the platform. And I think it's just a little bit farther to the... Oh, it's, yeah, it's like a half. Half a foundation over. We could still get this many in. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I think we had... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So we are missing one. The sixth is the construction one, I guess. And that does give us some more room in here. Not that we need more room, but I don't think squishing them together will... Um, give us any more like I can't squish them together and then get an extra train station out of it if that makes sense I could squish them together and make sure I have that two wide room down here but I feel like if I did that we'd have to go to keep it simple we'd want to go over like a full tile and uh, we can see what that would look like But that gives like way too much space at the end then. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So I think it might be best to take the sacrifice of losing a station for like a little bit of extra room for loading and unloading and decor and stuff like that. Because these would be able to be unloaded um, here. Right? Leaving us basically enough to walk down the middle and if we ever decided to add like an architecture path or something not that these look very transformer like but like that fits quite well in between if we needed to
Oh no, I knew it wasn't a reflection of my my design, Penguin Dude. That's me just having built that as like my first time, and then now realizing how much better I could have made it. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we just have to go with the five. Like, I just, I don't feel like it's worth getting like off grid and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go with it. If I want more stations, I can always get more vertical with this. I mean, this last one, if I really wanted it to, I guess we could go... If I went here... If I really wanted to maintain that space, we'll still stick with five. That went half a foundation over. This is... If I went to here... Those aren't evenly spaced, I don't think. Yeah, that's that's wider. Yeah, screw it. We'll just keep it the way that it is. I'll have to just figure out a separate kind of design. For that edge, it just won't be one. It won't be two meters all the way around. I don't think we need a hypertube down there anyway. This is me kind of like retrofitting something that was designed probably three years ago. So I've got the box and I have to kind of stay within the box. We still have a foundation and a half. So if I was to do any kind of walkway up here and I wanted to run a half foundation, it would still work. Technically, it would still work. Okay. Uh, well, then we can probably attach the rails, at least loosely right now. And the way to do that is to mark off these junctions. Thanks for the lurk, Sandy. I appreciate that you got to take care of Elvis. And for anybody watching, Elvis is Sandy's dog. <laughs> so when you have a dog that has a name that means other things, you have to be very clear. It's like, wait a minute. What's going on? So I should just be able to go from straight here to the edge there. From there to here. From here to there. And then each of these should connect, no problem. But why are these on this side? I've never understood that. Is it because I'm building the straights from one direction going in the other way? If I build this way, and I connect this to here, I guess it's just because it's a turn off rather than a turn on the track. Anyway, that's that's going to function. Uh, we just need block signals. But I'll do that last. So this is going to go out this way. And then we need the back end as well.
So that comes down here. And then this goes like this. Oh, that has to be placed on a tra train platform. That's annoying. I guess we'll just do track then. Two, three, four, five. Right, okay. Same thing. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I need to keep this. I don't think this is going to be anything worth keeping. I think it was more of a brainstorm. There are times when I wish I wasn't doing the transformer design theme because a lot of the stuff in the game lends itself better to other design styles, like just making futuristic looking factories with the game's um, art direction in mind. But um, this way, at least it's it's a little bit more, I guess, unique that I do it this way. So it goes to the edge. So it goes to the back edge. Oops, I hope this is making sense for people that might be new to trains or uh, struggling with trains. I think that's right. Can't quite see. Yep, looks good. Now, well, thanks, Penguin Dude. Glad, glad you find it helpful. I'm just gonna go to the edge there. I feel like my mistakes in trains before was going to the middle of the platforms, and it causes all kinds of confusion. I'm also holding control as I'm drawing this line, and that's what's keeping it straight. Now this can be redone. Cool. Uh, now blocks, here's the tricky part. We have to actually have these blocks separate so we need um block there and block there and i think probably a block here and then i have to have blocks at the ends of the station as well I think there has to be several. I think it only works if they get connected. You can see the orange block. So now we need to make sure that these all get broken up. Okay. 
So I'll have to delete these tracks uh, after we connect them and put in the cars, but at least we can put the block signals in. And the hover pack is almost essential for trains. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Right, so there you can see kind of like a bird's eye view of the blocks. And I think we have to do a block on every intersection here. The tricky part there is that it, it continues like this whole thing. So you might want to try and figure out a way it's almost worth it to have your to break up that line and put your block somewhere else. Don't think it'll let us do it just anywhere. Oh, it does. I thought it had to be an intersection, but I guess that's not correct. But what that does is that it keeps this segment shorter. The other way to do it would be to put a block on the entrance to the train station. So there, there. So this way, if a train is coming down this way, as long as there's no train in this yellow bit, it'll continue on. So once the the last caboose part is like in the in there, then it should function just fine. Right? So you can see each station has its own color. And then each interchange has its own color. So they're all separate now. Except for this red section now because it's not hooked up to the other part. So On this side, I need to put them on the on the intersections over here. So what would be wrong here is if a train was leaving, let's say, this first station and it was going, then a train behind it couldn't leave until it was completely clear of this red section. And this red section goes all the way down there. So you want this to have uh, blocks along here as well. I could just go down below and look at what I'm doing. Um, down there, but I also want to try to make this more efficient, so we'll see if my train knowledge in this game is up to snuff. I would probably do that just for visual symmetry, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did down below. Well, I had several. So I had um, the train stations were, were little blocks as well. I don't know if that's necessary. I might have moved those because I didn't like the way that they looked here. So that could be why I put those, put those there. We'll have to see how that might look in the final design. Uh, how did I do the back? Out of curiosity. So I double signals there. Yeah, I think it was probably that it was probably that this didn't look all that good sticking out of the foundations. Like it probably just, I didn't like that look. So that's probably why I moved them over there, which is fine. And then down here, I did the same thing. I just had one on the entrance. I probably just moved this back, probably to make sure that those didn't clip. That might've been what I did. It's roughly the same. Okay. Cool. So we can start to move these. I don't remember which one was which. Should have made more notes. Um, Mix Master was this one. That's because it's aluminum. I remember that much. I put the D for Devastator. Next one I think was the coal. No, that's sulfur. So that's a uh, bone crusher, I want to say. And then this is the coal. Yeah, 
Yeah, so... Scrapper was the coal. These are all the names of the Constructicons that make up Devastator, by the way. Yeah, Scrapper. And Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher Collection Station. That was Quartz and Caterium. And Sulfur. Bone Crusher is here. And this is just going to help me with all the belts down below. Mixmaster, Bone Crusher, Scrapper, Scavenger. What's the next one? And that was Coal iron and then sam or at the end yep scavenger was our first train and it has become like our one of our more important trains And then the last one will be Hook, which is just our spare train. Cool. So what, I don't think there's anything in here. Hook was empty, nothing coming in or out. Blueprints. Uh, there we go. This didn't take that long to actually get it up here. It's it's all the connection and belt work. I think is going to be the real problem. These are all empty. Almost. Oh, yikes. Start with the smaller ones, I guess. So Hook doesn't need anything. That's ready to go. Scavenger needs five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't think this is going to let me put this up here. No, it's encroaching on the other. Well, it says uneven. I might be able to do it if I just get in more here. If I can do this without... Oh, sweet. I don't have to delete the other one. Excellent. I am happy about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I could do empty platforms, couldn't I? 
just to kind of keep it all even. The block signal still working. Oh, that separated them out. Hold on. Must have been just a visual glitch. That was purple for a second. So we are just going to go ahead and move the signs, I guess. Let's do this as a temporary thing because I might want to decorate this differently later. But I do need to know what's coming in. Might as well leave this open for now. And there's one quartz. Thought there'd be more. Iron. And we've got copper and then two coal. I think I like the purple train stations better too. Two coal at 600 a minute. This is kind of tedious. And then we've got iron ore 600 a minute. I guess because of the distance, we didn't need more than one car for the quartz. I knew it was a lot of quartz. nice to have the SAM coming in automatically too. We don't have that happening in the other playthrough. The SAM is just something manually we have to go get. Cool. Alright, so that's done. Uh, I need to just put some stuff in a bin here. I guess I could just empty it all. It doesn't really matter. You get that weird Minecraft mentality of needing to keep all your stuff. We've got bins underneath here that are probably full, too. Can you imagine how long it would take to delete all this and rearrange something like this in Minecraft? Like, it would be wild how long it would take you. I'm going to leave all this uh, extra bits in here because I need to know what's going to happen with the, um, the guts underneath.
We may have to put in some haphazard belts. I think I'm going to leave these open for now as well. So we can at least maneuver around. Up and down. Now this, I don't think, is going to let me attach to this. No, other clearance. Okay. Now these are just... I think they're just coal. They're all empty, but it was 600, 600, and 600. Okay. And that should be what Scrapper is doing. Yeah. It seems weird to have um, only three cars. I guess we can always add more resources coming in on one train. Snapping point here is weird. I have this all written down. Anyway. Probably just leave those signs floating there, honestly. Might as well. We know our progress anyway. Deep Space Cape. Hello. I found about you via Imp and Skiz podcast. Looking forward to catching some more streams. I'm already super invested in the Citadel. Oh, thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for letting me know how you found the stream. And uh, thanks for checking out the Impetus Kids podcast. That was a fun time. Welcome in. It's always cool when people let, let me know like how they found the stream. I am really feeling the frame rate crunch right now. And I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just used to playing on a smaller playthrough. Uh, and then Bone Crusher. Maybe way over there. One, two, three, four, five right now. I never thought about that. You could have, you could line up trains i don't know why you would want to but you could line up one train like if you needed to have something come into a station and quickly turn directions you could have it you could have a train come in and not have to turn around and have another train just leave and just have stuff transfer between them i've never seen a use case for that but i'm sure it exists one two three four five And it is time for a break. These up here first. It's 
I'm glad I did the the early playthrough to get all of the story bits from Ada and the fun moments from Ada about the project assembly. That was cool. Glad we didn't just keep on going with the save. I mean, I would have preferred to without the crashing, but let's jump on this guy we'll back him up because that is now broken I think I have to get all the way to the roundabout before I can turn things on Should be able to turn on self-driving here. Oh. Timetable. Uh, Megatron, Constructicon 2, and Devastator Hub. Good. Uh, once again, folks, I take a break about once an hour. I will be back shortly.
I guess we'll just delete this one. Gonna save the game too while I think about it. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, Dan. Everyone's having a good afternoon. Pretty chill. I mean, we're just kind of monotasking the higher platform for the train station. I wanted to do something simple just in case we dealt with crashes. I didn't want to do thing, anything too creative. Because I find that if I have to redo that stuff, I find it very difficult. Whereas technical stuff like this, it's all just counting and moving stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee went down the wrong way. Uh, right. This is a temporary sulfur and caterium. And empty. This is the car that got screwed up with the update because it changed a bunch of the nodes around it. It was really the only thing that got messed around. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not do enough? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't think the quartz is coming in anymore. I can't remember. Does anybody feel like they've sped up the horizontal movement of the hover pack a little bit? I feel like they have. Sulfur. Okay. All this can go. And did I do this one yet? No. This one is actually the closest to its original spot. that wrong. They are all 600 except for 150. I guess I could take off that little um, note in the commands too for Devastator. Uh, let's just turn off the timer. Uh, 
That's been going this whole stream, I guess. So leave those like that, and I mean, really, we could just kind of hook these up if I wanted to. Uh, but now this is all, I guess, almost ready. And we'll do the platforms at the back. So technically, this should run. So we could move this along here, and I could just increase the height of this. And this would probably be all we would need to do. You can't nudge tracks? That's weird. Oh, that's annoying. Wow. Seriously? Yeah, the snapping radius on a bunch of stuff is really touchy. We will fix all of this a little bit later. Won't have that little dip happening, that's for sure. And then the exit. I guess we just have to have a way to get this line back up. Uh, so this... Right, I I hooked this on to the wrong thing. I hooked this on to the wrong thing. This is supposed to go to the track next to it, not that one. So this, oh, that's annoying. This could be moved over. We could have had that extra space down there. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh... Yeah, there's going to be another line here going out. Actually, no, this is a one way. This is a one way line. So this should be able to go out. I lied. I lied. I lied. Uh, here it's going to split into two. Because yeah, yeah, the train going into Devastator 
I th did we decide? I can't remember whether we decided if I was going to have a single line or if I was going to have a double line going into Devastator. Does anybody remember? I thought that two tracks looked not great. I, th I'm, I built it. I must have just decided on one. Because if this is going to be two, then I'm, I'm, it's not centered, right? So... Right, right, we'll do it this way. Uh, so I'm going to need this to go here. And then this is going to connect. Uh, where's going to be? This would maybe be the most logical place would be at the same distance as the train stations. Just not quite enough. There was uranium there. All right, very temporary, but at least sorted. I just need to get the trains back up here. Which train is this? This is the construction train? Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get this to do it on its own. See where it gets to. Unfortunately, we have to move these one at a time. And we don't have a proper way for them to turn around. They use the stations that they park in to turn around. not accessible it should be what's going on why have you stopped why is there another train
Oh, because it's going back onto itself. That's why. Uh, I guess we'll need block there. And a block here. I might not be able to do that, you know? This might not work. So let's think about this. If we're going out here, yeah. That guy is blocked because we've got signals coming in the wrong way. Unless we have signals on both sides of the track, I guess. Uh, this maybe has to be a path signal. Yeah, this is probably being treated more like an intersection. Here we're fine for blocks. But this should probably be path signal. I don't know why they're being weird. I'm going to separate this one too. Now they seem to all be playing nice. This one won't because, of course, there's no other signals on that, so that's fine. So let's, let's, this looks like a proper two-way. Yeah. Okay. Should work, in theory. You are Mixmaster. Well, it can get there. Trying to remember whether any of this is on the world grid. I think Devastator is not, but I think that my trains are, if I remember correctly. This 
is going to look really cool eventually. Master. And then this was Bone Crusher, I think. Yep. Will be a bit of work to get it all decorated again. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that right away. I want to make sure that it's gonna work the way that I want it to first. I may end up um, doing some sort of like. A, like recessed platform again and I might try to hide the rails I don't know I'll have to see it will eventually feel a lot cleaner I don't mind actually seeing down below I might leave it open you know Now that's got a block on it. I don't know why that has a no entry on it. Because I did not. Yeah, see these get separated. Why is that? There's no train. I guess this one's just a little bit too far ahead. Oh, I don't have a block signal here. That's what that is. There we go. Yeah, so that was all one, but that should be fine. I think that's everybody. Okay. So, I guess the next thing is going to be our hypertubes. I feel like these are not going to be... How can I do this? Probably go from here down. That doesn't really work. Okay, so we need that one needs to be an out. Yeah, 
Maybe we'll go back to beams. Or pillars, rather. Hello? You gonna let me put it behind there? Probably not. It's annoying. That would be too easy. This one I think was just a scoop. that one and then this is the entrance probably easiest just to do a platform Floor hole. Guess we can just power that. What is going on with my camera? And then I don't remember what this one was. I don't think this went anywhere. This was just the ground, although that's going to change. Maybe this one will be the ground now. That's why I had brought it down here, I guess. Uh, is that powered? Yes, it is. That clears that out.
don't know what that might be going to. Oh, lights. Interesting. That's going to be a pain. And I think that's everything. I don't think... Yeah, I'll get rid of this. I'll need to move this entrance. So this should send us on a little bit of a of a jump. Nope, it does not. To fix that, um, probably has to be a little bit farther away. Should still suck us up. Yep. Powering stuff is easy. Remembering how you powered stuff is hard. 100% agree. Poot. It's a little bit high. The idea here is that I wanted to give me access to the full train station by sending me down the other end without having to walk it. That's what I want. Beautiful. Close enough. Exit right there, and then everything else is fine. All right, cool. That's done. Uh, and then I guess we just have to put some of this stuff back if we want to do a similar design. Uh, what did we do? This was a two, actually a three meter raise. I don't know why I did it that way. So one, two, three, four, that's the deck. This is one meter down. Two and a one. I do like the green, so maybe we'll keep that. And then that's another color. And I think I might want to take some of the stuff that I was doing on the other playthrough. Some of the colors. We didn't have the carbon steel before, so everything was just kind of black. So I like the idea of painting this stuff carbon steel. And that way when it's exposed... It looks cool. This just kind of goes along the whole way. And then this was supposed to be... Right, this is to give some depth.
don't know what color that is. And then everything under, underneath it is just solid wall. And I don't... I guess we could just go with regular foundations. We're going to have a lot more room, so um, the design is going to differ a little bit. So I do, I do kind of like the way that I did this. Because something that I think I mentioned before is that I've been in the habit of not doing... Oh, wait a minute, that's not right, is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the wrong level. Nope. That's not right at all. That's right. Oh, I've got this in the wrong level then. So why is this? Oh, because this is, that's replaced. Okay, that's what it is. This is actually a four meter thing. On the edge, that's what it is. One, two, three, four. Yep. So then this goes away. And then these get changed back to carbon steel. And then we can do the recessed lights and all that kind of stuff later on. Now this, they were actually positioned right on top of that. It looks about right to me. Maybe this one is in the wrong spot. I think it's probably hard to tell with that wall there.
Yeah, I think I still like that. I think I'd still like that. We have the room to do something more on the uh, corners now, though, so that's going to be fun. Uh, so really, it's just a matter of getting... Wow, this is really flickering around a lot. I really wish there was a better way to do these um, hyper tubes. I wonder if we could just straighten this out and have it connect in a different way here. So it'd be like here. Then, can we connect this over this way? Well, that does not look good. Let's try a noodle, maybe. If I freeze it, can I switch the, the modes? Yes. Auto. That probably looks the best. That gets rid of that. Uh, the middle one is going to be really tricky. I guess we can just temporarily extend this one bit. And then we'll do another one of these guys. Now, how on earth do we do this? I think maybe we have to add another one of these down here. And I guess we'll have to scooch it one way or the other. Guess we'll go this side. That actually looks all right. Now this hopefully will go over the top of everything. That eliminates all of this out of the way. Sweet. Again. 
this is a temporary tower anyway. It's just meant for me to get around while I'm building stuff. Eventually, we'll be able to take trains and stuff inside. Be fine. The idea was to be able to bring all of our goodies into Devastator off of the main world grid. So I can't turn the trains on yet because we haven't hooked up the belts. But I think that this should work quite nicely in terms of giving us access this way. So now when you're on a train um, coming in here, obviously this won't be here. Right? Probably have two of them out of the way. You know what? We're probably just going to remove this. So that's one thing about this walkway is that it won't really, can't really do much with it. Because we're going to have to have some uh, foundations here. I wish I could change the default ash, asphalt material. I guess it's probably if you have to change the concrete. Something like that. So now you're approaching Devastator, minus this weird tower. This will be the view. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I think the issue here is that now I won't have to do this weird like down and up situation. We will be able to bring everything straight across here. So none of this, this is one of the reasons I wanted to raise the station is like this nonsense is just not going to be there. They're just going to be straight lines right across. Because it opens up all this room in here to do stuff. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't remember whether I was counting the distances along here or not. I think it's mostly hover spaced space out over the the junctions. Looks like it's every two. Yeah. So, I guess I can get rid of all this lighting. Makes no sense to keep that. Because it's just going to look really weird. Clean this up a little bit. Nice. down below. I had them shiny. I feel like that might have been a darker color, but I don't want to mess around with swatches just yet because I think I'm going to take the time to revamp the swatches.
think that's probably where it'll end up going up in the corner. This is fairly easy to get done. I just I want to try to make sure I don't get too carried away. I'm just going to do this face of it. Don't remember why I chose this height. I might have had the best view of the train station. specific it did oh sweet okay that's gonna work out very well then all right i need to go on another break i should be able to grab a train and put it down actually we've got a brake train at the other end let's just use the new hypertube setup that we just kind of rearranged get you where you need to go yes yeah, so that's I don't remember how many these are part six probably so it's probably every 12 that looks right that's how we did it in the other playthrough as well stuff already. Devastator Hub, Megatron Construction 2. Cool. Turn on self-driving. Once again, folks, time for a short break. I will be back in just a few minutes. I don't know why that's not working. All of a sudden, my stream deck does not work. That sucks. Hold on.
So my stream deck just straight up not working. Uh, no buttons are responding. So sorry about the weird transitions and things being a little bit choppy, but uh, it is what it is. I was thinking about this actually earlier. Um, whenever I go on a break, there should be ads that play for non-subscribers. The good news is during those ads, you don't miss anything. I'm just driving around on a train. I'm not here talking. Uh, but I was listening to a pirate software talk about how they do their ads on their channel and they just kind of pause gameplay every half an hour. They kind of sit there for the two minutes of ads or whatever and they just they don't do anything. And I thought it was really interesting because then they are 100% guaranteed not to have pre-roll ads for new viewers. So I'm wondering if you're a new viewer, if you've um, come in for the first time today, uh, if you're not a subscriber, when you got here... Did Twitch play pre-roll ads for you? Because the idea being that if you show up to a stream and you get pre-roll ads, the chances are, if you're a new person, you're just going to bail. Like, you're just going to be out of here. All right, this is my down now. So the idea behind having ads run all the time, or not all the time, but like every half an hour, would be to um, eliminate that. I thought it was every hour, but I need, to, I need to look into it. I thought by manually running ads with my stream deck, which obviously didn't happen just now, um, that I would be able to do, um, I would be able to eliminate pre-roll ads for people. All right, so I realized when I was on the break what I wanted, really wanted to make sure I had room for, and that was uh, eliminating, uh, oh, not that. I want to eliminate this stuff, and I want to make sure we have room for the, um, the main bus. That's the main thing. This. I want to line this up with this area here. So I think at this level should be accurate. I'll throw in a foundation here just to make sure that's going to line up. Yep. Okay. Single. And there's one, two, three, four. So that means that this one can go straight across into that one and then on down the line. And it's single, double, and then single on the end. So that'll make all of this net nonsense a lot cleaner. Great. And it should also eliminate a lot of this craziness too. It should be a lot easier to, to sort out. Uh, that does mean though that we're gonna have to have kind of like a separate floor probably here is where this is gonna end. That doesn't have to be there. This doesn't have to be there. We don't have to run these things underneath anything. It's going to be so much better.
I don't want to remove any power just yet, but... Yeah, so like stuff like this, if it's going to one of these top belts, it doesn't have to go down. It can just, we can just do turns, right? So like, here's an example. This is top level, so it doesn't need to go down anymore, right? It just kind of, it's just going to come to here, which should be fantastically easy. The only difference, I think, or the only problem is that this is going to be too long. This is probably more than six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we'll have to support them in the middle somehow or just kind of fudge it and have a temporary section here. Two, three, four, five. So this is Mark 5, and it can go from here to there. And then on the inside, it would just be a matter of changing the lift and... We'd have to be conscious of what this is. It's iron. That's coming from back there. So that would probably be coming in lower. So we'd want to go across and then down. So we would just move this along this way. Is that even? Yes. So here, there. And then our lift should fit that way. And that should be the Sam Moore redirected. Nice. And that still leaves this lane open for whatever might be coming down behind it. So that should work out quite well. It will look so much cleaner, I agree, Sandy, yeah. Uh, and then we would just el eliminate these eventually because I don't want another kind of thing stuck there. I think we could probably make it, make it look Okay, I, I don't think, I don't think we can, we need to have it be anything special. If anything, we could always do like beams or something out here where it's a longer, a longer thing. We could just have like a, just like I did in the other playthrough, have just like a little beam here. I think I had to use a foundation to get it in the right spot, but... We can figure it out. But the view from up here will be just straight straight belts, right? Very cool. Uh, so that means that um, this won't be a floor, but this will be. However, what's happening here, and I can get up here as well, is that we have a new a new floor. I guess I can get rid of this. This doesn't need to be here. As long as I don't get rid of all of them. Because I may want to copy this design for, for decorating the trains. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that just yet.
it's going to give us a lot more room so we don't have to have see previously we had the tops of these guys kind of like crammed into the top and we don't need to do that anymore so this is the actual base i think yep so that's the platform so now our big bins can be at this level they can be lower whatever they need to be they might as well be on the level they're at with the exception that we've had to bring things up so i'd rather i think i would rather have things go down and out then up. So where they are is maybe a little bit low. And maybe on this level would be better. Truthfully, about halfway in between would be good. Because then we could have lighting and stuff if we wanted to. I feel like the new floor down here would maybe be at this level here. So that puts those bins over there sitting with their bottoms at this part. And then that would mean we'd have more space. So that would be this level. So the bin would be sitting at like this level, pulling in stuff from the ceiling, which I mean, that's a long distance. It doesn't have to be that, that long. I guess that's one of those weird decisions. Like how do you decide um, how to run this? But Unfortunately, you can't plan for everything. Hey, McScrewgun, how's it going? I mean, this seems fine. I just, I don't think, I guess if I do it up there, then I don't have to do, I don't have to redo as much. That might be one way to do it, is to keep this floor level, and that way... Well, I guess I really wouldn't have to redo belts up here. It would just be a matter of reconnecting them. Hmm. I mean, I have to read, I have to delete all this anyway. It wouldn't be a bad idea to make a blueprint out of this train decoration too. In case I need to do it elsewhere in the map. Be cool. Have all the train stations look the same. Although part of the fun I find sometimes in the game is to, to like re redesign things. Iterate and see what you can make work again. Where is the new station? The new station is over here.
I remember when I first designed this train station, I was actually pretty happy with it. This would be the new lower level there. Then we'd have floor holes on all of the outputs. And then we just line these up. That way. And then also this way. And then, I mean, like, it's almost lining up. This has got nothing in it. It's good. And then all we have to do is get this back over to um, the box site. And this was going over to this one. And squirreling way over there. But now... guess I could still have this main main bit here yeah I'd still have to send it a certain direction but this is the new one here so it still has to get out into this main area I think but I think this is still going to be open from here and then This just had to go over to there. Then where does that go? So that's the white one on the far left. This goes into bauxite and this goes into the top, right? So like this goes into this one. And that's really simple because now it's just going to come across here. The trick, I think, is going to be to do this in a way that we work from the farthest train all the way down. Although, unfortunately, Cook doesn't have any, have any input. So maybe we should put Scavenger on the last one. Because really, this should be like coming in the side. I wonder where most of scavenger stuff goes.
One of the things I liked in my other playthrough was that I left a lot of open air stuff underneath builds and it allows you to kind of like get underneath without having to find an entrance, which is nice. Yeah, a lot of the scavenger stuff is up on the right hand side here. Coal, 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 iron, 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 yeah. Plus we've got those belts that just don't, these ones are just not part of it. They're just, they're on a completely separate, separate area. That's fine. We can sort that out as well. It's the same idea here. We just grab one of these. Uh, it's that one. Oh, it's a little trickier when it's a single. I guess we'd have to do this first. But that's all there would be to it. Um, to get that out there, right? Way, way nicer. And then this just has to connect to that. And with the new uh, belt mode, if it's far enough, we can probably have it go like that. Replacing this one. And then just on down the line. I guess the trick here for me is that for whatever reason I decided to move from right to left as I was populating the trains and the belts and I should have gone the other way around. I think it's because I had the construction train down there. Um, maybe what we could do is plan for that. Oh, that's the wrong level. Now the train station has, like, several floors. <sighs> yeah. I never thought about that when I was moving the train stations, whether or not I should get them farther down. It might be a better idea to go... Scavenger and then Bone Crusher. The problem of that is that the ma the, the, the main bus here is already dealing with all of this stuff. Although Bone Crusher is kind of up for interpretation, I guess. Oh, there's the quartz. Yeah, I'd have to be careful with that if I decide to do it that way. And there's nothing going down the middle, which is weird. I guess it's because nothing going down the middle because everything is going off to the left and the right. So why would you put it in the middle when it's ultimately going to go down the other end? Hmm. I feel like we've got the room to move things around if we need to in here.
Mixmaster Bone Crusher, Scrapper, Scavenger. Scrapper is the smallest of all of them. I guess it doesn't matter because if anything expands. If you don't change it around now, later will be even more work. Well, see, so the, the thing is, like, I just, I don't know what's going to expand. Like, I need to bring in more stuff on these trains, and I don't know what that is yet. Because my quartz is now coming in via scavenger. Because we've got these two quartz nodes that are coming out. They used to be over here. So, yeah, it might be better... What's the biggest strain? I want to say it's Scavenger. Yeah. I also realized I did not leave enough room for this to turn off and go the other way. I don't think we can. Yeah, there's too many connections there. Um, yeah. We might have to put some sort of roundabout here, you know. This could also be the spot where we uh, have trains go up a level. If we ever had to add another floor. That could be another thing too. Yeah, I think it might be the easiest thing to do is going to be to move Scavenger. Because if Scavenger comes down this way... That means that all of Scavenger's stuff is going to be on the far right here. Rather than in this middle lane. So I've got one, two, three, four, five lanes and I have got five trains too. Uh, this is the pre.1 save. Yeah. Uh, low. This is we're back in Devastator. I didn't want to go in that hyper tube but here we are. How are you low? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So decision made. It's a lot of work but we should probably move move things down. Annoying. Um Bone Crusher will be next. And then Scrapper, and then Mixmaster. And then this would be Hook. I have to reorder things. Second week of PTO, just doing nothing all day long. Hey, sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need a break.
I don't have a way to reconnect here either. Might have to do that temporarily. Maybe if I can weasel my way around and get things to loop around, it might be an easy way to move the trains. This might connect there? Probably not, though. No. Oh, I can't connect there at all. That's frustrating. Um... guess we'll have to go from here. And that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can drive to the roundabout. It's fine. I just don't want to. There we go. That'll work. That'll give us a quick turnaround for these other trains. Need to one sleeping 10 hours per day. Wow. A long, a long haul. All right. What train are you? You are Bone Crusher. You need to go all the way to the end. Scavenger, we should move Scavenger. Well, Scavenger doesn't need to get moved because Scavenger is somewhere else. Brone Crusher. Oh, I have to redo all the signs, too. That's annoying. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is Bone Crusher, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six. What needs to happen is we need to add these guys first. Missing encased beams. Do I have those in here? Nope. They're on the train. Yeah, I only ever really get about six hours of sleep a night. I slept a lot longer last night. Um, not in one chunk. It was three... Tree chunks.
See, even though this is all kind of temporary and mishmash, like I, I want to have something cool and complicated like that at some point. Scavenger. Thankfully, it's a little bit closer to move things around. Bally, hello, hello, and the Wormbo, good to see you. We have been rearranging train stations all day. Needed to happen, and now that it's mostly done from a... Um, function perspective we can start to do a lot of planning and stuff that is not bauxite must have not copied Don't remember why it's fifteen hundred a minute and not more. Because it's two pure nodes, it should be. Maybe I've just got it toned down for easy consumption. Don't know. I'm gonna have to. This is the thing. Like now that this train station is here. Once the roundabout is done, then I can start calculating throughput because we'll know this copper. I can't remember. This is why I wrote things down on the map. Copper is normal, so that's going to be 300 a minute, I think. And there's four normal coal nodes, which is why it's 600 each. I think I like it better when they're all purple. It looks better. All right, so that's scavenger moved. Bone crusher is two blocks down. That's going to be less of a fun way to do it. I should have done these as one sign. That would have been way better. That would have been way better. Bone crusher. Yeah, we've had some FPS issues, but no crashes, so that's good. I'm glad, actually. Although now I've got a decision about how far I need to take the other save. I'm really tempted to kind of bring it all forward, but 
I don't know whether that's kind of like, I don't want to say cheaty, but it would be a much better way to have stuff in my inventory and stuff going on a train. But it would eliminate the need for the, um, the forest base here. Oh, this is just extra. Seeing this train setup almost makes me want to set up trains and then tear down all the factories and rebuild them with trains in mind. I, I mean, the part of the process is using trains for your like your next level factories. I mean, the way to play the game seems to be that you need like a temporary starter factory floor to just get yourself through progression. And then you need a basic starter factory to fill your inventory with stuff. The problem I think that most people run into is that they make their starter factory too big and it feels like it has to be the main factory. But what I did with the latest playthrough was I made like five computers a minute. I made one heavy modular frame per minute. Like I kept it really, really, really small. Um, and I felt that that really helped me build those three or I guess four factories, four small factories to be considered like my starting area. And then very quickly I was able to get up to speed and uh, able to um, get stuff in my inventory. And once we get the train set up for the plastic, everything just kind of opened up and we were able to get, get going. Um, I would focus on stuff like the alien tech tree and getting the um, power augmenter too. Yeah, honestly, like my first, this is my second time. This is my second save. Uh, the first save, I just it you got I got kind of bottlenecked and overwhelmed and then I ended up, end up deciding you're like you know what I just I don't like where I am I'm gonna move on and um, that's what I did so now this is scrapper I think scrapper stayed right where he was right so we don't have to change scrapper and then mix master is the only one we have to change now and then hook has got nothing I know this is kind of tedious folks but I guess some of the stuff that, you know, you want to make sure that you don't, I guess this is all the same, um, skip over, you know, for especially for new players. And it's all the same except for the 150. Oh, the sign's already there. Right. Bali gifting a tier one sub to the community. That went out to Bacon Buttery. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Bali. Uh, Bacon, uh, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. And join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. And uh, Bali, connect your Discord and Twitch, even though I know you already have, because now you can get Discord Nitro for three months. Thanks for that get sub. Uh, and thanks to the promotion on Twitch. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so these are just going to be empty. I don't think I can delete that because hook is already there. So what I need to do is have these go to load, 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 and load. That way hook currently, I think we will make hook green for now. This is the only one not being used. So this is Mixmaster, but this is Bone Crusher. Let's see if I can actually get this to go to Bone Crusher.
Why is it going to Mixmaster? It's weird. Oh, because I changed the, the name. So this should take that temporary loop. Wanted to make use of Discord Nitro offer before it ended, and you're very welcome. Oh, very cool. That's great. Bali, we'll enjoy Discord Nitro. That's the right station. Alright. Uh, bone Crusher is at Bone Crusher. Excellent. Uh, currently, Scavenger is in the valley, so that's fine. Scrapper. I don't know where a Scrapper is. I think. Oh, I don't know where I put Scrapper. Oh, Scrapper's up at the station. And then this is Mixmaster. Putting that little loop in there was a good idea. I wonder if I can find a way to do that in a way that looks good. I feel like we probably could. Hook, Mixmaster, Mixmaster. Scrapper is up on the top of the hill. Bone Crusher is in the port. And I need to add the trains back on to Bone Crusher. And then Scavenger is over there. Now, I wonder if I can... Can I call Scavenger back, I wonder? Oh, uh, needs to go to scavenger. Uh, let's go there. And we don't want it to go anywhere. And moving and grooving? Yep. Wait. Hmm. I just realized that all these are on the wrong side. This particular station, we're not going to have a lot of room to take stuff off. So I may have to be careful there. Because this is going to be there and there. So my decoration down the side might have to be a little bit different. That or we flip it and send them down that way. Which is probably going to be the easiest thing to do. I just don't like it when things are not symmetrical, you know? Uh, we'll do Green Valley Scavenger. It's that source. Okay. So that's going to be the tricky part, is deciding how to handle that, because I don't want these going down over that. And if we did it on this side, we'd have to do one there and one there. And then I guess just be the opposite way, it would be over this way. And there. And they would still wrap around into the bins, and the bins would still have lots of room to do the belts. I think it's just a matter of 
this one on the end has to be flipped. I'm not going to do that right now. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it looks fairly similar, you know? We're getting there. Having more room over here is probably going to be good. And this is going to look a lot better, too. The hard part now is going to be removing all this stuff. Um, I need to wrap things up. Um, we are getting very, very close to this being uh, a much nicer playthrough. We also did not have any crashes today. So again, knock on wood that that uh, continues. Um, hopefully we can make this look a little bit more like a transformer. Uh, same thing with this over here. I didn't put this up earlier, but um, we've got Devastator. Oh, right. My my stream deck's not working. Um, Devastator. Board? Yeah. So... We're modeling this factory after Devastator, the 1980s combiner. Uh, that's why all the trains are named after Constructicons, because Constructicons are what make up Devastator. Uh, and I think there's five altogether. Uh, maybe there were six. There's two legs, two arms, a chest. That's five. I, maybe there's more. I'd have to look it up on the wiki again. Um, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is pass you all along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Captain Erock is, is playing. A couple of other folks in the community look like they're doing some horror games. It's Bits, I'm Kibitz, and Total Eclipse are all doing some horror stuff. Uh, but I would much rather send you along to someone playing Satisfactory. And um, it looks like um, also Wolf Machina is streaming as well. Um, I am open to suggestions in chat. If anybody wants to let me know, either um, Captain Erock, who we raided yesterday, or Wolf Mackinac, depending on what you'd like. I'll switch over my camera here. So thanks very much for the gift subs, uh, for the new follows and the resubs today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I am excited that we were able to play a little bit here in uh, the Devastator playthrough and not have it affect uh, the stream. We didn't crash. We didn't have to flip over to the other save. Now I've got a decision to make, and I, I think I'm leaning on bringing over the stuff that we've made in the um, the new playthrough, the 1.0 playthrough, and adding that um, with some save um, editing in between streams to bring that over here, just to show it all together, because I feel like my level of building has kind of come a long way since I started this, and I was feeling more at home in the new playthrough, but there's just a lot of work that I don't want to do in the new playthrough. Um, so we'll have to see how how we move forward with that. Um, but this is going to be cool, I think, to finally make this look like Devastator uh, and clean up the, the main bus uh, and uh, decorate things and finally turn this functioning factory into something that looks really nice, which is something I was really happy with doing with the um, the other save. So uh, I will point you towards social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast. There's a new episode out every week, every Monday. That's on YouTube as well as your favorite podcast app. Uh, I am editing currently the latest episode of the Citadel Cafe that will be out before the end of the month. Uh, please stay tuned in the Discord. I'm going to be doing a town hall meeting where I go over some of the changes happening to Patreon, specifically for the Citadel Cafe, but it will affect uh, everybody um, because there's going to be talk about Infinity Cove, my patron server, uh, how that's going to be changing over the next couple of months. Uh, most of these things are not going to be effective until 2025, but I want to give everybody a good you know, couple months of heads up before the holidays, before those things change. So uh, by all means, um, follow me on socials. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord if you want updates, because that's I really update the community more often than I do things like Twitter and Instagram. So you can check that out there. Uh, once again, thanks so much for the support. Sandy, thanks so much for the modding. I really appreciate it. And I will send you all on to Wolf Machina, and I will see you tomorrow. 
uh, Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Uh, 1 o'clock Atlantic. Bye for now.